Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to another video for Detroit Become Human. This video is going to be all about Carl. Now we did a Carl video, it's probably weeks ago when we did the Carl video, but it was Push Leo versus Endure and it was a very early game choice, but later in the game, depending on the choice you made there, there's another set of things that can happen. So what we're going to go through is we're going to go through all the Carl stuff, which means both the times that Carl can die, and then also making it so Carl can live. So what I'll do for the structure of the video is you're going to see the choice early in the game, and then what happens later in the game based on the choice you made earlier. We're not going to show the entire thing, like the entire fight scene in the beginning, because I already have a video out for that. So we'll do what happens when you endure, and then that late game scene after you endured, and then we'll do push Leo, and then what you can do a couple of different ways late game after you pushed Leo. But one thing to keep in mind is I did go ahead and find my original footage from when I made the Carl choices at the very beginning of the game, the first time I played through it. So you'll see me be like, oh my god, which you might think is weird seeing as how we've done so many Detroit videos on the channel, but keep in mind it's the first time I saw these things when you're seeing it in this video here. So hope you guys like that, hope you guys enjoy my genuine reaction, and then yeah, without further introduction, here we go. All the Carl stuff late game based on your choices you made early in Detroit Become Human. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No. Oh, I'm destroy you. a heart attack. Just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you apart. And nobody's going to give a shit. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Oh, uh, uh. Carl, no! Uh, oh, Carl? No. Oh, it was a machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. I'm crying. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. I can cry. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Okay. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Over here. The android. It was the android. Oh boy, let's see where we go now. November 10th, huh? Cemetery, how fitting. We might be like really close to the end of the game. Feels like it, right? Content for months? Yeah, except like everybody already has this all put together because, you know, people are crazy. Reflective, regretful, mournful, heartful. Let's do heartful. I'm lost, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. I miss you so much. I miss you too, Carl. Carl! You. You. Ah, to punch you. You! No. I'm gonna destroy you. And I'll just be me and my dad. So, last I'm time I did endure, now I'm gonna push him! He just died? What? No, he just died! Leo. Oh my god. 
But Carl's alive. Leo. You died? What? My little boy. I pushed him. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Uh... Carl, I, I... I didn't mean to... Get out! Now! Go! Then he doesn't go. Marcus! Don't fucking move! And then they still shoot him. Okay. Alright, so now what is this? Oh! Is this when he goes back to Carl? Because Carl's not dead? Oh, I'm so ready to see this. I've never seen this. See Carl. Oh, I'm so ready to see Carl still alive. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. Aww. <laughs> I just wanna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna take my glasses off for this one. Where do you think he is? I mean, he's got his little scooter that brings him up top there. He's probably over there, but kind of led me this way, didn't it? Oh. You have a very flat zebra on the ground, in case you haven't noticed. Is that supposed to be me? That might be me. Let me go turn on the birds again. That might be Marcus. <laughs> oh, Carl. I asked 2G if you're just like you know, dead in here. I'm gonna freak out, man. Oh my god, you have a very flat... Lion, too? You have very flat animals here. Oh, Carl. Oh, look at the snow. Is that the one that I did? I can't even remember if that's the one I did. Either way, I don't see Carl, like, anywhere in here. So I got a feeling that... my boy is upstairs. Alrighty. People are telling me to go to a mirror? Oh, what's this? Hi, Dad. I'm getting out of the hospital tomorrow. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. I, um... I'm really sorry about everything that happened. I'm gonna stop all that shit. It messes me up. It, it, it turns me into somebody I hate. Hey, I, I'd like to come by and, and see you tomorrow, if, if that's alright with you. I, I just want to let you know, I'm, I'm proud to be your son. I should have pushed him harder into the freaking thing that knocked him out. <laughs> okay. I like your little flower staircase. Maybe it's not a flower. Dude, I love this place. It looks like a frickin' child's playground. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. What? What'd you say to me, boy? <laughs> oh, that'll be easy. You're gone. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. I'll make him talk. He's probably gonna die right here anyway. Oh, God. <sighs> yeah, he's on his deathbed. Marcus, I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. You don't know how much I've missed you. It's been a day. What's wrong, Marcus? Oh, God. I'm completely lost, girl. 
The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. the way he's nodding. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is. Or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls in the darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. He's fine. Can he die? Can he die there? Oh, God. speaking to somebody who dies there. God. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try to kill Carl. I have heard that Carl can die in this scene here. First time I tried it, you guys saw, uh, he did not die. But we were pretty we were pretty timid with him. We weren't angry or fatalistic or any of that type of crap. So we're going to try to... Marcus. I was hoping you'd come. We're going to try to freak him out. I missed you so much. Make his heart break. So let's see what we can you do here. How much I miss you. What's wrong, Marcus? You're gonna die. <laughs> so maybe Grim. I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah, maybe fatalistic would have been have better. After bad options, and no matter what I decide, there's gonna be blood. World is ruled by fear. Yeah, so it's Marcus. gonna be the same. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. So, I really love his nod that he does, by the way. Oh, yeah, dun, dun, dun. So let's do anger. Humans hate us. They want to destroy us because we refuse to be their slaves anymore. I'm not going to stand around and wait for them to slaughter my people. You used to be so calm and thoughtful. Now all I see is anger. <laughs> Let's just do anger again, I guess. It'd be interesting to see a reason, though. God, I just want to test it all out. Don't I have a right to be angry, Carl? We tried talking to you, and what you do? The same thing you always do. You humiliated us. Killed everyone that wouldn't kneel. Carl didn't do anything to you. So much hatred. Be careful, Marcus. They went fighting monsters. You don't become a monster yourself. What you call hatred is just anger in the face of injustice. You're the one that taught me that history is sided by the winners. That it's gonna side with me, Carl, because I intend to win. I'm not gonna let them humiliate us anymore. Oh. Do you hear me? Never again. Carl. That was quick. He's dead. Oh, thanks. Wow. 
Oh! He's tips right- <laughs> Just turn on the off switch! Wow! No build up or anything, just gone. Holy God! She just got bored of listening to me or something. Wow, okay. So this is what happens with Carl, based on the choices you made early in the game and how they can affect you late game. I have more stuff, believe it or not, that I want to do with the trait Become Human. It feels like it never ends. <laughs> so, if you want to see those things, make sure you're subbed. Make sure you follow me on Twitch so you can see live streams as they happen. We do a lot of this stuff live. Pretty much everything I do with Detroit, I stream live first. And then you guys get to see afterwards how I put it all together. Other things I want to do include a zombie Connor, which is really, really interesting. We managed to kill Deviant Connor, but then like bring him back to life somehow. So that was really, really weird. And it actually ended up in the game freezing every single time we tried doing it because we broke something. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you stick around. But anyway, that's all I got for now. Thank you guys so much for being here, and then I'll see you in the next video. Hold on Just a little while longer Hold on Just a little while longer Hold on